Hello friends, I am Anke Jain from Skillon Tech. Today we will discuss about designation nomenclature of bearings. Various viewers raised question about suffixes of bearings. Hope their doubts will be cleared in this video. Bearing number. The easiest way to determine which bearing you require is using the bearing is a reference number. You might have seen that all bearings are having their reference number written on the bearing. So the numbers which are engraved on the bearing, sometimes they get omitted over time. And so it may be necessary to know the bearing number by measure the bearing yourself to procure a suitable bearing for your application. For example, suppose a bearing is having inside diameter 25 mm, outside diameter 52 mm, width 15 mm, it means the bearing is 6 to 0 5. The bearing is 6 to 0 5 ball bearing. The sketch of a deep groove ball bearing is shown for your reference. Basic bearing dimension. You can see sketches where basic bearing dimensions are shown. Boundary dimensions are the main dimensions of the bearing. What they comprise? The bore diameter D, this. The outside diameter D, this one. The width or height B, C, T or H. This is B in case of ball bearing. In case of roller bearing, you can see this width is given at C, T. And in case of thrust bearing, this is shown as H. Chamfer dimensions are given as R. The size code multiplied by 5 gives the bore diameter D in mm. For example, 6305 is a deep groove ball bearing is with diameter D 05 into 5 equal to 25 mm. It means the this diameter will be 25 mm for this bearing, for 6305 bearing. Identification bore size of bearing. Suppose the last two digit of bearings are 0, 4 and up. Then multiply last two numbers by 5 to get bore in mm. But if they are lesser than 0, 4, then the diameters of the bore size of the bearing is given as shown in the slide. If it is 0, 0, last two digits, then bore size will be 10 mm. For 0, 1, it will be 12 mm. For 0, 2, it will be 15 mm. For 0, 3, it will be 17 mm. But for 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, it will be 20, 25 and 30 mm respectively and so on further as size will increase. How to identify bearing designation? If the designation marked on the bearing is no longer legible, the basic bearing designation can generally be identified by measure the boundary dimensions of the bearing. So boundary dimensions are the inside, inside diameter of the bearing, outside dia of the bearing and width of the bearing. So we can measure the boundary dimensions and we can identify the bearing reference number. Measure the bore of the bearing D this, outside diameter D this and measure the width B, C, T or H. This T, B or H in case of thrust bearing. How to identify bearing designation? The type of bearing and its features can be identified from its designation. For example, the outer ring of a cylindrical roller bearing with roller and cage assembly might have the identification 3NU20 or 320E. This identifies an outer ring of diameter series 3 for a 100 mm bore means 20 into 
5. This outer ring can be matched with a NU, NJ or NUP inner ring to form a complete bearing. In this case, the complete bearing designation should be found on the inner ring NJ320 ECP oblique C3. C3 will show you the clearance of the bearing. The complete designation is always printed on the package and is most often obtainable from machine drawings and equipment specifications. Bearing clearances. As we discussed earlier about bearing clearances, you can see in the picture, this is a axial clearance and this is a radial clearance. Bearing internal clearances means the total distance through which one bearing ring can be moved in relation to other in the radial direction, radial internal clearance or in the axial direction that will be a axial clearance. Internal clearances are shown by suffixes as C2 means tight, C0 normal, C3 loose and C4 extra loose. Bearing designation system. Prefixes and suffixes provide additional information about the bearing. Prefixes are mainly used to identify components of a bearing. They can also identify bearing variants. And suffixes identify design or variants which differ in some way from the original design or from the current basic design. The suffixes are divided into groups. When more than one special feature is to be identified, suffixes are provided in the order shown in the table. So here you can see that this designation system 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then oblique space separated 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6. What does it mean? 1 is for prefixes, 2 is for basic designation, 3, 4 suffixes, 4 suffixes external design and 3, 4 internal design. 5 suffix case design, 6.1 material heat treatment, 6.2 tolerance, clearance, preload, quit running, means noise, 6.3 bearing sets, matched bearing, 6.4 stabilization, 6.5 lubrication and 6.6 .6 other variants of the bearing. Type of bearing and their codes. So type of code as shown here in this picture, the one, if one is written in the bearing in the first letter, means it is a self-aligning ball bearing, 2-4 spherical roller bearing, 3-4 double row angular contact ball bearing, 4-4 double row ball bearing, 5 thrust ball bearing, 6 single row deep groove ball bearing, 7 single row angular contact bearing, 8 felt seal bearing, 32 by T tapered roller bearing, R inch bearing, N cylindrical roller bearing, double N double row roller bearing, NA needle roller bearing, BK needle roller bearing with closed end, HK needle roller bearing with open ends, C4 CARB toroidal roller bearing, K4 needle roller and case thrust assembly, QJ 4 point contact ball bearing. So these are the codes by which we can identify the type of bearing. So here the bearing number breakdown is given. So you can see one is for self aligning ball bearing, two for spherical roller bearing. Here it is mentioned as we discussed earlier. So you can see this is a type or code of the bearing. This zero, the second digit of the bearing, it will give you toughness description. Suppose it is 0, then it is extra light. 1, this is extra light thrust. 2, light. 3, medium. 4, heavy bearing. 8, extra thin section. 9, very thin section. Then this yellow color, 0, 2. The next two digit. This will give you the ID of the bearing. 0, 0 means 10 mm. 0, 1, 12 mm. 0, 2, 15 mm. 0, 3, 17 mm. 0, 4, then we can multiply by 5, 20 mm, 5 into 5, 25 mm, 6 into 5, 30 mm and so on. 
then the next two digit which are written in the suffix is double z so what it means if it is a single z bearing then it is a single side metal shielded bearing if it is a double z both side metal shielded rs single rubber seal 2rs both side rubber seal v4 single non contact seal vv double non contact seal ddu double contact seal nr snap ring and groove m brass cage then this c3 the another suffix it will give you the internal clearances c2 there is a tight clearance c0 normal c3 loose clearance and c4 extra loose clearance the next these two suffixes z1 v1 it will give you the noise and vibration levels z1 v1 very good z2 v2 better than z1 v1 z3 v3 better than z2 v2 z4 v4 best means the z4 v4 bearing will give you minimum noise means no noise these are the best bearings with respect to noise so this is a nomenclature or a basic bearing designation by this we can identify our bearing now we will understand the bearing designation by example so this is example 1 suppose your bearing is 6203zz c2 this is the number then 62 is a bearing series code this will identify single row deep groove ball bearing of dimension series 2 the next two digit will give you 03 will give you the bore diameter number internal bore diameter 17 mm suppose if it is a 03 double z it will be a shield code both side shielded bearing means the lubrication of the bearing will be inside of it it may be a grease and the last digit c2 will give you the internal clearance code c2 now you can understand by this another example too 72 it will give you bearing series code single row angular contact ball bearing of dimension series g2 this 10 will give you the bore diameter number nominal bore diameter 50 mm 10 into 5 the c will give you contact angle code nominal contact angle dt matched pair or stack code tandem arrangement and p5 will give you tolerance class code class 5 so let us understand the final nomenclature of the bearing by the example this is a prefix then a space or non separated basic designation will give you like this a space oblique a stroke or hyphen then you will see this suffixes c3 2cs ecml thanks for watching the video if you like this video hit like button below share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe our channel for getting updates on upcoming videos please leave any comments feedback to improve the videos thank you